If you got a pack of cube steak and don't know what to do with it, watch this video. Trigger warning, yes, I do clean off my steak as well. Y'all mad? Anyway, <laughs> once you clean off your steak, you want to go ahead and rinse it and give it a good little pat down, pat it dry. Right here, you can season it to your liking. I use a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, um, some steak seasoning, and some danos i want to say that was yeah and then i seasoned both sides of it again you can use whatever type of seasoning that you want and then you want to go ahead and get your flour mixture um and just dip your cube steak in the flour you want to go ahead and make sure that you have some hot oil cooking on the back end i use some olive oil you don't need that much because you're just browning both sides here all you're doing is browning both sides. The steak will not be completely done here. We're making some gravy. So this is the steps in the process on how I make my gravy, okay? Um, you're going to still use the same pan for the entire method. I added a little Kerrygold's butter just to give it some more flavor. And then I finished off the rest of my cube steaks, browning both sides for about three to four minutes y'all if that and then all of that that's at the bottom of the pan you want to keep it there okay it's just seasoning <laughs> then you want to dice you up an onion you can choose to add mushrooms as well this is just how i'm making my gravy i added a little bit of olive oil and some um minced garlic and gave that a good mix i let the onions get brown and my um garlic burn a little bit because that's how i like it and then i added some beef broth in that flour yeah you can use any type of flour right here y'all is no specific measurements you just gonna wing it okay if your gravy is too thick add more beef broth or water if it's too watery add more flour so get it to the consistency of this and then you want to go ahead and add your steak back into it this is where your steak will be um cooking for the rest of the time um i want to say it takes about 15 or so minutes you want to cover it up um just keep checking on it periodically and then uncover it you know what i'm saying just make sure the gravy gets thick your steak is done and then voila y'all it's super quick and easy to make some um cube steak i love it this is a good country southern meal um pair it with some rice some broccoli whatever greens you got and cover it with some gravy baby yeah yeah it's so good it's good for the soul y'all it's so good for the soul try this out <laughs>